Hi, and welcome to Le Studio Marco Primo. Today we're talking about automation. It comes from a question posted in the comments from Mr. Mark Mullen. Um, sorry about the pronunciation. The first question that we should ask is why would we want to automate things? Uh, and it's very easy to answer. If you record uh, many tracks and while mixing, there's a part of the track that you want it to be different. Um, of course, you could double this track or drag a, a part of this, the, the track and copy it on another track and make your modifications. But if you do so, you duplicate all the plugins that were on that track. So you're using more CPU, more resources. So that's not very uh, fun. Uh, so what you need to do instead is automate exactly what you want to change, either the volume, panning, or anything. Actually, you can automate mostly anything. So that's what we're going to check today. Let's go right away. Magix did work a lot on automation and it can be very easy or extensive depending on what you want to do. Um, and first let's uh, choose a track. I'm going to take this bass track right here. I can play just a tiny bit. All right. If you want to see the automation lanes, uh, you click on that little arrow here and then you can create any number of automations if you click here you have some classic choices volume pan uh, tempo you can create a tempo map directly in the automation with uh, pro x6 and 7 i think uh, 5 did not do that anyway and also you will see the plugins that are on that track and the features that you can automate. You see, there's a lot of things. Okay, the threshold ratio, this is a compressor. And here the EQ, you have all the settings. Um, if you wanna see the EQ that I'm using here, it's this one. So everything, so you can automate almost everything. Let's try just a volume for now. As soon as you create an automation lane, it creates a line like this, which represents the actual setting. So my volume was at uh, minus 15.6 and it created the line at the exact same amount. So you can expand your track and then what is very easy to do, select a part of it, uh, let's see, like that and you can grab that part and change the level, okay? Or, or you can, of course, double click to create a point and then move that point around, okay? So this is the basic things, we're gonna try it. Okay, and of course, if you want to play without the automation, you can deactivate it right here or in the mixer. You can go right here. This is RD for read. You can change it for off or touch. So if you have a controller or if you touch the fader, uh, it will start creating the automation right away. So touch is... Everything you do will be recorded. Latches, if you change something and let it go, it will stay at that level. Overwrite, of course, is to remove what is already there. So let's check the difference with touch and latch. With touch, uh, we're going to make some changes. And when we let go of the uh, fader, it will go back to the, va the actual value. And with uh, latch, it will stay to the last value when I 
uh, let go of the fader. So let's check the difference. So this is touch. See? And then latch. All right, let's try latch. See, it stayed uh, where I let go of the fader instead of going back to the level. So that's the difference. If you want to remove a part of the automation, just select it. Uh, let's see, just that part. And all the points change color. Just hit delete on your keyboard. And there you go. The last thing that you can do is change the shape of the move. So let's see. I. I go very further down. I can change if it changes like uh, this uh, or this or this. And let's say we want to create another one. Just hit the plus right here and then choose what you want to do. Let's say panning. Again, it creates a line. And uh, you can, of course, create a point while double, double clicking and another point double clicking. And of course I can do like this and another one there. So if I play, okay, EQ if you want. Low boost. So check that knob. All right, before I let you go, I just want to tell you there's only one week left to buy some merch. Go in the description, click on the link, buy anything if you want. I will deactivate the account for the lack of interest and I'm checking for other ways to monetize the channel. Maybe Patreon or something else, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what should I do nothing or i don't know um there's always some links to buy magic products uh but this of course is very uh, uh small amount of people that could interest them so uh maybe patreon very easy one dollar a month maybe anyway let me know in the comments uh but if you did like this video click on like consider subscribing hit the bell to get notifications and of course, share those videos. It's always a great help.